Did you know that this past Monday, January 17, 2022, marked a very special day in the global Crokinole community? This was the first ever Crokinole Championships of the Middle East, and in this video, you are going to get to watch the final matchup of that tournament, and I'm here to tell you, it was a doozy. Now you may be thinking, so what? Big deal, there was a Crokinole tournament somewhere else in the world. My name is Jeremy Tracy of Tracy Boards and I'm here to tell you this is a big deal. This very well could be the tipping point in our quest for world domination. That's a little bit dramatic, don't you think? <laughs> well, maybe a little dramatic, but drama sells, so work with me. We hear from folks all the time that would like to start a club or a tournament or some sort of Crokinole event, and in this video, you get to see a proof of concept. You see, our friend Beal over in the Middle East has become the Crokinole ambassador of the Middle East. In just a few short months, he discovered this game, absolutely fell in love, and made a decision to put it on the map. He went from almost no one in that area even knowing what Crokinole was to hosting this event that I believe had 16 teams competing in a doubles tournament. He even went out and found sponsors for this event. Little side note there, maybe something you want to consider. The first sponsor he had was a place called Woosh, an incredible gaming place who agreed to host this inaugural Crokinole Championship. He also had sponsorship from a place called MW Cafe. I cannot wait to go there in person, sample their specialty coffees before I play in the Middle Eastern Championships. Sometime soon I will be chatting with Nabil to see what thoughts and ideas and concepts he has to share that could help you become a true Crokinole ambassador. For now, I'd like you to sit back and enjoy this incredible match. And while you're watching, think about what it would be like if you could spearhead the idea of bringing something like this to your area. Enjoy watching The Greatest Game on Earth. Let's jump right into the action. First to shoot is Artan. Coming up a little short on the open 20 and actually a little bit, oh, okay. They decided it uh, It just barely touched the line. Uh, keeping in mind that some of these players are a little bit new to the game, so, and maybe a little bit nervous about being involved in this championship match, but just touching the 15 line and Umar gets the takeout, but is not able to keep his shooter on. And Saud, the first to drop uh, open 20, getting things started in the 20 scoreboard. Amar is able to level the playing field on the open 20s. Another open 20, the players are catching their stride now, really getting into the groove of things. Coming up a little bit long on that open 20 attempt. Uh, I'm not sure if Saud was going for that or not, but a great bounce back. Now as you're watching this, you may notice a little bit of a glitch in some of this the, uh, the video stream here. This was actually recorded through Zoom, and Mackenzie and I were able to sit all the way over here in, in Canada and, and watch some of this finals match, so. But here we have one of each color on, and uh, Artan is able to get the takeout, so now, the uh, team with the natural buttons has two on. And that was a pretty good hide, putting that button in a fairly tough shot. Saud, it looks like he's going to try to go over the center hole. Very challenging shot, we'll see how that goes. Ah, he caught that center hole just a little bit, launching it into his partner's lap. Now, Amar has a very tough shot, very similar situation where he is probably going to have to go over that center hole. Let's see if he has, oh, not only did he not make it, that is, that is a tough break. Sad celebrating the, the fail on his opponent's part there. Really catching the stride now on those open 20s. Artan drained that and uh, Umar went for an angle in. Right idea, just caught a peg. The natural team really pulling ahead now in the 20s and a chance to make that gap even wider now as Artan sets up on an open board. Coming up just a little bit short, let's see if Red can battle back at this point. Dropping over to the side, ah, right idea, just maybe a little bit off on the angle. 
Great angle in there, although it may have set up a 20. It's getting a little bit late in the round. They've mathematically they're not out of it yet, but it's gonna be tough. Excellent banking 20 there, but now the, uh, the natural button team has two on as well as an open board. This time he did come up short, so that uh, invalid shot gets taken off. But yeah, the red team down two 20s with only two shots left. Now, yeah, completely mathematically impossible at this point. Last couple shots just to finish things off. So Saud and Artan are out to a two to zero lead. They're taking a second to reset and grab their buttons. I'm gonna throw another shout out there to our sponsor, Woosh, who uh, graciously agreed to host the inaugural tournament of the Middle East. So special thank you to them. If you're in that area, please do go check them out. I hear amazing things about them and I definitely look forward to visiting there. And uh, any luck at all, I'll be sitting down to play in a coconut tournament there myself. Round two about to get underway here now. Umar is the first to, uh, oh sorry, Umar is the first to shoot, draining an open 20. That was a great shot. Saud up to, oh, so close. That was so close to dropping in. It's gonna be a, a fairly tough lead for Amar. That was, uh, yeah, just a, it needed a little more steam on that in order to drain the 20. Arton dropping to the side. Oh, denied by the peg. It can be pretty tough to drop to your to your offside. Now it's gonna be a tricky shot for Umer where he's trying to drain a 20 and probably trying to not. Excellent, that was well done. To hit that with just the right amount of, uh, around of, right amount of force to get the 20 and not knock his red one all the way into the gutter. That's, uh, yeah, that's uh, a tough shot to get the weight just right on that. Now, that was, I was gonna say, playing with fire a little bit there, uh, knocking an opponent's button through the host can sometimes, can sometimes bite you, and it did. Uh, yeah, now they're, that was a quick shot here, there we go. Um, yeah, paying the price as uh, Artan was able to drop that open 20, bring them back within one on that 20s race. So to any of the players that are watching this, I'd, I'd like to apologize. I am doing my best on the pronunciation of these names, but I know that I'm not, uh, I'm not batting a thousand on that, but I am, I am making an effort. So feel, feel free to, to, uh, to correct me on that. Uh, give me a call and tell me, tell me where I went wrong. So now the red team is up to, uh, in the 20 count but uh, naturals have uh, two buttons on, so it's actually a pretty even battle at this point. And as well as uh, the natural team also has hammer. So now he's probably going to try to angle up in, even if he gets up into the 10. Oh, okay, that's exactly what he's trying to do. Give it a little too much force, lost to shooter, but fortunately they still have one on. That was a fantastic attempt at the drift 20 there. Went just a little long. That's the trouble when you're uh, when you when you when you get close but don't quite drain it. Oftentimes you set your opponent up, so it almost feels like a 40-point swing when you miss uh, when you miss something and go that you've gone for like that. They were even in 20s, and now the red team has pulled out in front again as Amara drained another another open 20. This is going to be a tough shot for our tan, our ton, sorry. Um, now, Umer, if he's able to drain this, it will put them in a very commanding lead in this round. And he does up four to two. Yeah, that, uh, that pretty much seals the deal on that. Even with that miss, even if uh, even if Artan is able to drain a 20, they're still gonna come up five points short. So the red team has successfully tied this match at two points each. It's nice to see a finals be, uh, be so close 
like this, not like a Super Bowl can tend to be that, that it's a blowout uh, between the two teams that make it to the finals. These two teams seem very evenly matched, which is, uh, yeah, it's just more exciting to watch and definitely more exciting for the players to be involved in. So I think the two teams that were meant to be in the finals, it, it looks to me like they, uh, the right teams got there because we're seeing a great battle. Saud starts out with an open 20, getting things started right. Amara really taking his time, but then comes up just a little bit short. Maybe the uh, championship nerves getting the better of them there. So let's see if, uh, if Artan is able to take advantage of this. Yeah. It was the right idea. I think he was coming in at a good angle there, but just uh, that peg ran a little interference on him. So Umer for, oh, dead straight on the line, just a little too much weight that was in and out. So the natural team, they're, they're up a 20 and they also have hammer, so they're they're in decent shape, but with, with the red team having two on, it's, uh, they're definitely not completely in command. They're just uh, definitely a bit of an advantage, but not a huge advantage at this point, I would say. Great angle in, very good. That's what you need to do. He gets the play back into the center because uh, It was, uh, it was moving them toward being able to, to set up a double with having both of the red back in there, but it, uh, that ended up backfiring a little bit as uh, Saad was able to drain another 20. Getting a little congested there in the center. Let's see what, uh, let's see what Artan is able to do with this. Looks like he might just be lining up. Uh, I think he was just going for a single takeout, but that uh, bit him. And now Umer's Going to drop to the side to see if he can probably, he's probably gonna to try to slide in here for a touch 20. It would be really, oh, that would have been, he didn't go for the touch 20, he went for the takeout 20. That would have been fantastic. There, there we have a quadruple takeout. Saud says, enough of this crowdedness in the house, let me take care of that. And he gets everything cleared out of there. We're back to, back to an open board. Coming up a little bit short on that open 20 attempt again. The line is a great line, just a little bit short. Artan able to take advantage of that. Now they go up three 20s to, to nothing. See if Umer is able to, he is, he drains that 20. Breathing a little bit of hope into this round for them. They're not, they're definitely not mathematically out of it. They're down two 20s. Each team has, each team has four more shots. That's making it a little tougher, up four to one in the 20 count. Little fist bump to a, a young audience member there coming in to take in some of the action. Oh, and the Super Steve, he goes a little bit long, blowing it right out the other side. Excellent to green that 20. That was a pressure 20 right there. You know what, the red team is not out of this yet. This is, uh, we're coming down to the last few shots to settle this. The reds are down by 120, but they definitely, this is not easy by any means. That's, good. That's a tough 20 to get, but if they can drain that or even keep it in the house to set up. All right, see, still not out of it. The, the action is still in the center, so they're going to have a shot. They're gonna have a chance with their hammer sh with their hammer shot. Now here, all they really need is the takeout. So uh, either to go straight at it or drop over to this side. If they can get that takeout, hit and stick, they're going to win on the board with 30 points on the board. Yeah, they were, they were down, I believe, at 1.4 20s to one and they fought back. That is, uh, that is great. Have your back to the ropes like that and battle back in that round. So the red team is now up four points to two, heading into this fourth round. I believe it's getting late, so I'm wondering if these participants have been into the specialty coffees from the other sponsor, MW Cafe. Then maybe that's what's helping keeping them alert and uh, shooting straight this late into the evening. 
That was a pretty shameless way to uh, slide in a thank you for our sponsor. But uh, yeah, I just think it's really cool that a couple local companies stepped up and to support this new event, something that, you know, uh, not very well known there, but they're, they're supporting Nabil and his efforts to, to spread the word about the greatest game on earth through, uh, through their part of the world. Amar again coming up just a little bit short. His his weight is just a little off. The line looks really good. So just a little more mustard on that. Oh, that was a that was a tough to try to come in and get that 20. But uh, yeah, speaking of tough shots, Umer is dropping over to the side for a darn tough shot himself. <laughs> They're all around it and and not able to drain. No judgment. Like when it gets in there, when it's that tight, it is it is tricky. That was a very good shot, getting rid of one of the red discs. And I'm not sure if Amar's gonna be able to come in, touch his own, and just have touched the natural enough to make a valid shot. Maybe if he dropped to the right, it would be better. Let's see. Yeah, sadly, that's the challenge. He did not touch a natural button with either of the red buttons, so he lost both. That's quite a momentum swing in this round. But again, yeah, really tough shot. I'm wondering if he had dropped to the right, if that may have may have gone better. Now setting up an opportunity for Red to come in and drain. Yeah, a little fist pump, but hey, don't worry about a partner. I like to see that too. That's uh, I'm enjoying the the community, the the little bits of the Crokinole community. They're definitely taking on the the true spirit of the game over there, which is really nice to see. But at this point, uh, Reds are up by a 20 and there are three natural buttons on so yeah definitely going to want to uh reds either want to drain another 20 or they're going to want to take care of at least one if not two of those those natural buttons in order to be in much better shape of this round not bad getting one off and one out of the house but after this shot they're most likely to still have three natural buttons on Really good hit and stick. That's exactly, I feel it's exactly what he should have done with that shot. Uh, to try to come in would have been more tricky and may have been made it more likely for them to, to, get, a, uh, to get a double takeout. That right there was a fantastic shot. He, he's leaving Saud in a very tough shot to try to go. That's exactly what can happen. He was trying to shoot that Hogan's Alley and not only did he not get a valid shot, but he took one of his own out as well. So that was, that was, a, that was significant right there. I'm sure he wasn't trying to take his own out there, but it wasn't all bad because uh, they've still got one on and they were, as we like to say, on the right side of the hole. So uh, the next shooter would have had to drain a follow through 20, which uh, is tough for anyone, but especially um, these guys obviously haven't been playing Crokinole for years and years and years. It's a newer game there. So the, the follow through 20s are definitely going to be a challenge. See if he can find the weight this time on the open 20. Oh yeah, and that's so easy to do. You come up short a couple times and then you overcorrect and next thing you go long. Been there, done that, <laughs> got the t-shirt. <laughs> Actually, I think Nick Osmore has the t-shirt, but um, back to the action here. Tan, oh, that was definitely an opening for them. If, that, if they had drained that 20, they'd have been in really, really good shape. Great takeout and angle in. He may have been better off to stay out, but uh, we'll see how this plays out. We'll see how this plays out. A little bit of a uh, little bit of conversation between partners here. Always a good idea to to have a chat, look at all the options before you move forward. So that's nice to see as well. Oh, tough one. Yeah, I think he was going for such a thin slice there that, uh, again, that, that peg just got in the way. That was a tough one uh, for, for Umar coming up, the, uh, coming up the offside, especially the offside. 
coming up like that. It was a, a tough angle for him to come in. Now, what do they need at this point? Tan are uh, down to 20, so they need to get both red off and they, they need to win on the board. They, they need to surpass red by more than 20 points on the board. That is a tall order at this point, especially the way one of those red, pe one of those red buttons is posted. It's right up against the post. It's gonna be really tough to get it out of there. He was able to drain a 20, but I'm pretty sure that was too little too late. Tied in the 20 count, it comes down to what's on the board. So red takes that round, going up six to two. Uh, yeah. The red is pulling ahead in the match, but still extremely tight rounds coming down to the last shot or two to determine who is going to win the round. Players are all set to go, ready to hit this next round. Artan comes up a little bit short and off to the side with his open 20 attempt, leaving, leaving Umer with a fairly easy 20. Saud drains the 20, making it even in the 20 count. Uh, that was a tough shot. The angle is right, a little bit heavy on the weight. You see it, uh, you see that button flips. That tells you it caught up in that center hole just a little bit. Oh, what a great touch 20. Well done. Ooh, I, th I think he was going for a little cheeky kickback off that post to put his in and just put a little too much mustard on it. So at this point, we've got the natural team up two 20s to one, as well as having two on. Great takeout. Push the other tan button back, or the other natural button back. See if he's able to take that out. Not, didn't quite get the takeout, but he didn't leave a very good opportunity for, for, the, for his opponent to come in. He, yeah. That was a good try to get that to roll over, and then unfortunately he has left Saad with a fairly fairly generous setup, putting them up three 20s to one. They're really pulling away in this round. Apparently they're still ready to fight for this. They want to, uh, they want to keep this championship match going. See what he's gonna do here. He's probably, I don't know if he's gonna try to angle in. He may want to because they're down 220s. I think that's what he was going for. The downside of that is he may potentially be setting up a double takeout. All right, Saud did not get the double takeout, but he definitely uh, took away any good opportunities for the red team to come in for a 20. Oh, that's where the rules of Crokinole were his friend. I, I, it almost looked like that red button actually may have prevented the natural button from going off. If that had gone off, that, that, could have, uh, that could have been quite a momentum swinger there because he would, have had a, he would have had an open 20 opportunity. But because that was on, not only did he have one he had to hit, it was a very tough shot that he had to hit. Not sure if that was intentional or not, but that was a great shot to get uh, to get his shooter outside of the house, getting it away from where the red team needs to be to get a 20. He's he's going to want to be angling in for a 20 at this one, more probably more important than a double takeout. A little too much mustard on it, pegged it out, but uh, at that point they're pretty much in hail mary zone. This comes down to the hammer shot, as they would say, inconsequential. Good attempt at a 20. That is extending this match. We are now at six to four. I did mention that this was a battle. These two teams very evenly matched. And uh, yeah, some really, really good shots on each side. Next round is underway. Umer starts out by going long. Again, maybe these championship nerves are getting to him. Saud up for the challenge. Drains that first open 20, putting them uh, in the lead. 
See if uh, Amer can settle the score here. Bring it back to even, maybe. Very good attempt, just a little bit long. Also leaving a bit of a setup here. Oh, that was so close to dropping. Really nice weight to get the takeout and uh, probably the weight was right even for the 20, just, just a little, a half a degree over further with his angle probably would have seen that, uh, seen that 20 drop for him. Another nice takeout here. The red team definitely hunting for a 20 at this point. Not sure that's that's a fair ways back. He's gonna possible, but a very tough shot. Unfortunately, he didn't get the off, and he also has left his left his button. Uh, I'd actually like to. Okay, I wonder if he if uh, Umar had dropped to the side, if he might have been in a better position to to uh, drain a 20 off off what had been left for him there. Now the red team with two on, but the natural team up a 20 and they have hammer. Oh, that's a tough break catching a the peg there. Uh, again, I'm wondering if he had dropped to the left and come up through, if he may have had a better shot at, at, a, at least a single takeout, maybe even a double takeout. They've definitely left the door open here for reds to come back into this match, which he does. Draining an open 20, now they're even. Even in 20s, red with two buttons on. Uh, natural team still has hammer, so that is definitely to their advantage, but they at some point need to accomplish a double takeout or see an unforced error or some sort of an error come from the red team. Oh! Wow. I did not see that one coming, that was fantastic. Puts the Reds up two twenties to one, three twenties to one. The natural team has their back to the wall. They definitely need, they need to fight back in this because they're, they're down six to four at this point. running out of bullets. A little bit of coaching there. His partner thinks that, uh, his partner thought he should have come in at it at a different angle, but I'm, I'm a firm believer that um, the person making the shot needs to make the final decision. And he did, and he was successful with his shot. A fantastic angle in 20, bringing them to within one. They're three, two in the 20 count. Oh, wow. That, uh, that may have cost them the round. Let's see how this plays out. At this point, what do they need? If they, uh, if they get a hit and stick in the 15, it would just be a tie, so. Oh, wow. Wow. They got the 20 and a fist pump, a well-deserved fist pump. And that tan button is, uh, wow, if that tan button had been touching the line, it would have been a draw and it would have ended the match <laughs> seven points to five because this is a race to seven. So yeah, there's uh, some games they say it's a game of inches. This is a game of uh, millimeters maybe. What a turn of events in the last few shots of that round. That was fantastic. It can be tough after a situation like that. You need to settle your nerves and get ready because yeah, you won that round, but there's still a, there's, there's still another round to be played, still a game to be played. So yeah, like I said, this match is a doozy. They're at a six point dead even draw. And yeah, the tan, the tan shooters need to settle their nerves after that excitement. And the red team needs to uh, rebound from probably a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a heartbreaker. They were so close to having having just finished the match right there. Excellent, finding his range now. 120 each. 
a little long, but dead straight, and it's a good thing or else it would have sailed right out the other side. That center hole slowed it down a little bit. Oh, what a great angle in 20 that was. Said they needed to settle their nerves. They definitely have. Both teams finding their groove at this stage. Nice hit and stick. That is going to leave a very tough shot all the way over to the other side of the board. I think his partner is absolutely right. That's the best lane for him. It's probably the widest path for him to get from, from his side of the board. Ah. Yeah, tough break there. That is a long, skinny shot that he needed to make. That was a pressure shot there. That would have been uh, that would have been a huge shot for them to make. Uh, at least it's a valid shot. So red has two on at this point, and red with the hammer in this match. That uh, in this round, that's quite quite an advantage in this match deciding round. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but I feel it was very good the way he rolled out there having lots of separation between the two red buttons that are on, not giving them any opportunity for a double takeout. That was a tough takeout on that last shot with the red, red button being posted the way it is. Again, probably not intentional, but very fortunate now. All the red buttons are way out wide. It's gonna be very difficult for uh, Tan to work their way in. That was a good angle in shot, but uh, it's one thing to get it in the house, it's another thing to make a 20 out of it, so. Nice hit and stick, keeping that in the house. Things are getting really congested up there. I would think, I don't know, I don't know what he's gonna try to, all right, well done. I wasn't sure what he was thinking there. I was a little concerned that he was gonna hit the one further out and then uh, and then inadvertently knock the the one that was a little further in knocked the, knock his opponent's button in toward the center, which definitely isn't what you want to do. Coming down to the last few shots on each team. Oh, wow. Wow. Angle in, takes advantage of that. The rebound off the peg and drains a 20. I'm not sure what, I don't know if he was trying to go right into the 20 or what he was trying to do. Maybe that was accidental genius. I'm not sure, but it was a great shot. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely very impactful this late in the round. Not uncommon to see this. You get late in the round, it's getting right down. These last few shots are gonna make the difference of who walks away. The first ever Middle Eastern Championship of Crokinole, Champions of Crokinole. They're taking a little extra time to consider their shots and rightly so. It's right here, very pivotal shot. If he can get that hit and stick, they're gonna be in really good shape going into the last two shots. Uh, I was talking hit and stick, that's even better. Where he rolled that, uh, yeah. Yeah, at this point, he needs to get a triple takeout 20 in order to in order to make Red have to shoot their final shot. There it is, there you have it, in a nail-biter battle back and forth between two great teams. And it's nice to see, like I say, the fellowship and the, and the, the crokinole attitude that we like to see in this great community absolutely alive and well over there in, uh, in Saudi Arabia where this game is just getting legs and taking off. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this is the first of many matches from that part of the world that we have the opportunity to, to witness and commentate. Make it a great day.